Hey there YouTube, welcome back to a, uh, another video. Uh, I had a couple of uh, parcels come today from uh, from the postman and I thought I'd open them uh, live on the workbench. So, well not live, but I'll open them literally just after this intro. Uh, so uh, let's get down to the workbench and uh, let's open these uh, mothers up. Okay, so I have the, uh, the first one here and uh, I believe this one is from uh, Perry's. And let's see what it is. It looks bigger than I, than I uh, thought it was, but uh, I'm sure it's just... I've, I've actually put like two orders in with Perry's, uh, but I'm pretty sure that this one dispatched before uh, the other one, which I, which I imagine would probably need to be cast, so I'm not expecting that one quite yet. But let's uh, get into this and see what we got. So, it's quite tightly packed. Maybe I don't even need a knife to get into this. Okay. Okay, we got a bit of cardboard. The, uh, package. So let's see. Uh, so we got uh, two or oh, three BH34s, and there's a reason for that. And then we have a BH33, uh, and I think these should be uh, light dragoons. Uh, so basically a unit of Light Dragoons for the 4th uh, Cavalry Division. And for this particular stance I chose, um, there's literally just uh, two poses. So there's basically just the command and the, uh, and the troopers. So let's just open all these up. Obviously, uh, three of the boxes are going to be the same, but um, we'll open them up anyway. So let's first of all do the command box. This should be the command box, hopefully. So as you can see, uh, these are the standing uh, like dragoons. Uh, I really quite like the idea of. Uh, looks like just the. Looks like one of them is actually just tr starting to trot forward. But uh, they're mostly standing. I don't know if that's a mistake, but it looks like he's just maybe just taking a step forward, uh, being a bit restless perhaps. Uh, so three horses, of course, and they all look okay. Some of that horrible cotton wool stuff, which I, I use for uh, disorder markers and black powder. Rid of that so here we go uh, yeah very nice uh, I decided to get uh, metal uh, light dragoons uh, just simply because uh, I just really didn't feel like building the plastic ones to the truth uh, and I wanted to just try some uh, I think uh, I've literally just got one more uh, unit of these guys to get after this and I'll probably end up going to front rank for those just to sort of try those guys out as well uh, so that's the command pack Secondly, uh, we go for one of the trooper packs. Now, obviously, these are standing as well, uh, and it looks like you do get like one uh, trotting forward. Uh, now, one thing that I noticed between the parries and uh, front rank is that front rank uh, don't have the uh, clipped tails uh, like the parries do, um, which is, I suppose, it's not the end of the world, but it's a very sort of British cavalry thing to do. So. It's a shame that front rank didn't carry that across, uh, but again, I'm not really complaining. Um, now, I suppose theoretically, if I thought about it, I could theoretically just get another uh, the the other pose of, of light dragoons from Paris uh, for my second regiment, uh, and there's, I suppose there's a possibility that I, I, I theoretically could do that because um, obviously uh, there'll be different positions. Uh, so that's an idea that's just kind of cropped into my head actually, because obviously you can get them. Uh, 
I can't remember if they're charging or trotting, but but they're they're a different position anyway. And of course, these guys have their uh, musk, them, their uh, carbines uh, on their horses rather than at their sides. So let's have a quick look at the figures. It looks like they're. They're all, they're all slightly different positions, I think. It's not too bad. Obviously, there'll be three of them copied across because I had to get three boxes of the same because there is literally just two uh, poses of uh, horses standing still. That's the first pack. Uh, go on to the next pack. Now, this bigger box here uh, should be from uh, Elite Miniatures. So, let's get into this. away from myself with this knife. And now what type of box is this? Okay, I got it. It's one of those. There we go. So packing paper there. And here is the goodies. Quite a heavy box. Now these guys, as you can see on the front here, are a battalion of uh, British line infantry charging. And there's 40 figures in, in this uh, particular pack. Um, so let's uh, crack it open and see what we got. So straight away we can see that they're uh, in a sort of charging pose. Now these guys are, are basically going to be... Uh, they might even end up being the Cold Stream Guards actually. Uh, there's, there's two regiments that are going to be 36 man strong uh, in, in the uh, first British... Uh, Infantry Division, and uh, it's the Cold Stream Guards and the... I can't remember the other one. Could it be the 2nd, 3rd Battalion or the 1st? Possibly. Uh, anyway, I need to go back and check that, but yeah, definitely yeah, the Cold Stream Guards are going to be one of them. So uh, I decided to get like the 40-man pack uh, from Elite Miniatures to give them a try. I've never tried their, their British before. Uh, they look... Let's just compare them. They look a little bit on the thin side, but when you put them up against a Paris or a front rank, they are again pretty much similar to the French. I think they're probably a little bit... Mm, no, they're more or less exactly the same sort of proportions as the French. Uh, I think this guy just, uh, just looks a little bit on the thin side, but he's actually not in reality. It's just because he's got a small base. I always find that that can often put you. Uh, now these guys look as if they're going to be a little bit of a pain to stick down to their bases uh, with these little little uh, stands but I had the same sort of problem when I did my uh, my charging uh, um, middle guard so here we have the drummer quite nice and the sergeant okay quite nice a uh, little bit of an odd uh, position there but not too bad I suppose uh, let's find the officers. Now the officers, these guys, oh dear. We've got these singing boys back again, uh, by the looks of it. Uh, not the best officers I've ever seen, I've got to admit, but they're not too bad, I suppose. Um, I'll probably use these guys, I don't know, I, I might possibly get a front rank command group in for these boys uh, to swap out one of the officers, because uh, he kind of looks like he uh, could make do as a secondary officer uh, or a junior officer uh, but I don't like them as uh, as the commanding officer and I suppose you, although you actually you do get a colonel uh, on horse uh, with these guys again uh, so quite a nice uh, colonel there and uh, here's the two standards Just 
two of the same positions again. I suppose that's the only thing I don't really like about Elite is the fact that they, uh, their officers are always the same. Uh, but I think as figures go, I, I do really quite like them. And it's nice to be able to get uh, something different again. So I don't know if I'll... I didn't like the positions that are available. Uh, that was the only thing that I didn't like about uh, ordering from these guys. But I did at the same time when I try them out. So that's basically what I ended up getting them. Uh, but yeah, we've basically got two layers uh, of troops. And the more or less, there's probably like two poses. Uh, I don't know that for sure. But uh, I mean, fig yeah, that's basic figures go. I think they're, they're pretty good actually. Uh, I like the positions, got all their gear, they're quite cleanly cast, they've got hardly any flash in them at all. Uh, in fact, I, th I think the only flash I've seen is just a little bit around the uh, the pike, on the sergeant's pike. Uh, but it's only that sort of uh, that foil flash, so that'll just come off real easy. Um, and obviously there's always the bit on the bottom of the, uh, the stands to snip off. Um, now I do know from experience that these guys are going to be pains in the butts to uh, to try and get to stand up on their own. Um, although I've got to admit these guys do seem to stand up straighter than the uh, their middle guard uh, equivalents. The uh, they, those particular figures seem to lean forward quite a bit. Um, so let's just stand one up to see what happens. Oh, it looks like they can stand. So they might not be quite as bad as I thought they were going to be, uh, because I remember with the middle guard uh, I had to basically uh, keep them stuck down to bases until I was ready to uh, to stick them down. Um, and it looks like some of them could do with a little bit of straightening, but yeah, it looks like they're going to stand up on their own. Um, so I'm quite happy about that actually. Um, but yeah, so that's the... British line infantry from uh, front rank, not front rank, elite miniatures. Yeah, pretty chuffed with them. Uh, like I say, these guys are probably end up going to probably end up being the uh, perhaps the cold string guards. I haven't totally decided, but yeah. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you uh, next time uh, when I either finish what I'm painting or my next little uh, order comes in. Uh, which I haven't heard anything from at the moment. I think it's got to be cast, so I'm probably not going to hear anything for for maybe maybe not towards the end of the week, perhaps. Um, but hopefully they won't decide to shut down during this little month uh, lockdown uh, and decide to continue doing business. Uh, but who knows? So uh, till next time, catch you all uh, later. Bye bye.